Hey, welcome to another lesson. Now we're going to add a camera here and this camera will rotate around the statue and go back to the original position. So pay close attention because this, this part can be a little tricky. So let's go to layer, new camera. For the camera, let's select a 50 millimeters and we can call this camera one it's okay and make sure that it's on two node camera click ok and now it's time to to place our camera in a good point let's go to the custom view let's turn off our ceiling okay now let's go to two views and make this one into a top view. Now on this top view let's see where our camera is. Let's look for it and here is our camera. So right now this is really far away from the room and I want this to be close to the room because we're going to create a null object, an orbit null object and I want this camera to be rotating around this null object. If I leave the camera as far away as this, when we rotate, when we go all the way through here, then these walls will go in the way and they won't let us see the statue. So I need this camera to be really really close so that it can rotate inside the room. So first let me get closer and I'm going to take the camera let's set the camera here let's add a little a different color for a camera green color ok now take the camera on the C axis on the blue arrow and bring it closer into the room now let's change this view to active camera okay now we're really really close to the statue so the camera is in good position now here this orange rectangle is the floor so and these are the walls so we are good right now this is the statue and these are the walls and this is the floor so the camera is set here right on the beginning of the floor and that's fine now as you can see the focus of the camera and the camera point of interest is really far away from the room so I need to go to camera camera options and on the zoom I have to decrease the zoom a lot you can see how this is getting closer now these two anchors so I need to decrease the, the zoom until it gets to where my camera is alright here is a good point let's see how it looks with the ceiling perfect now the point of interest it's really far away too so I'm going to take this and make sure it's in the same part as the focus distance let's drag our zoom even closer not so much here on 500 this is a good number and make sure that the point of interest is in the side in the same spot now with the camera ready we're going to create the orbit null remember that we have to select our camera right click go to camera orbit null and this will create a null object 3d null object with the camera being a child to this null object so if we move this null object we're going to move the camera as well
so so far so good you can see the orbit null here it's right where the camera begins so now it's time to add some movement to this orbit node. The idea is that the orbit node comes into the room and give a little spin here, rotate and ends in the same place. So let's grab our position and we're going to create a keyframe here and the next second I'm going to change the position of to this point to the right wall so I'm going to change the X rotation the X position and the C position all the way to this point now on the next second I'm going to place the null object in this corner right here a little far from the wall so that w when we rotate we don't lose sight of our statue don't worry about the rotation we're going to fix the rotation so that the camera is always pointing to our creepy character so on the third second we will change the position on the x-axis so that it goes to the other corner of the room on the fourth second I'm going to place it here to the left of the creepy character and finally on the fifth second I'm going to copy the first keyframe so that the camera will rotate. Let's see how this whole thing looks. Let's hit play and you can see how the camera goes all the way around. Okay, cool. Now later when we rotate the camera we can change some of the things here it's really easy we just have to change for example this position and we change it a little and you can see that it doesn't affect the other points so that's fine now I think this is going too fast I want to be a little more a, a little bit slower so that it's more creepy so I'm going to take these keyframes two seconds at a time so instead of going one two three four five I'm going two four six eight and ten so two seconds apart is a good distance between the keyframes and now it's time to play with the rotation of our camera in in this case the rotation of the orbit moon remember that we're doing everything with the orbit node where we, ha we haven't touched anything on the camera yet so now for the rotation let's open rotation here and let's click on the Y rotation and now press the U key on your keyboard so that we can see both settings and now on this point right in this keyframe I want the camera to be pointing at the statue of course so I'm going to 
set minus degrees until I get there. So here is where the statue is. I'm pointing right at the statue. Of course, we don't see it here because it's a flat image, but don't worry because we will fix that. We will fix the rotation of the statue. So here is good. Here is 90 degrees. Now on the fourth second, we need to decrease this more so that we point right at the statue. Like this. On the sixth second, I have to decrease the rotation more. Let's point this to our statue. Okay, and finally, we set the rotation the same as it was on the beginning. So now it will be pointing at our statue all the time. Now, I want in this part, I want the camera to be closer to our statue. So if I want to fix that, all I have to do is to change this point, take our camera and get nearer. Like this. And on the next keyframe, I want to be closer to the statue too. You can get as close as you want in both keyframes. So we have a better transition here. Now, finally, we have to fix the rotation of the statue itself. So let's go to our creepy character layer and press the R key on your R keyboard. And on the second two, let me create a keyframe. And on this second, I will rotate it. 90 degrees, minus 90 degrees. Okay. Second four. I'm going to rotate it again until it's looking right at the camera. And we will repeat this on all of our keyframes. On the final keyframe, we can just copy and paste it so that it changes again. Now, finally, we need to fix something here. And the thing is that when the camera rotates to this point, I should be able to look at this front wall. But if I do, if I turn off, if I turn on my front wall right now, I won't be able to see anything because it's in the way. So I have to turn this wall in a specific moment that should be around this point when we start to see that part. So I'm going to go to this 
second keyframe and I'm going to take my layer, I turn it on and with the closing bracket, with the opening bracket on my keyboard I'm going to make it appear here on this keyframe so right now when we enter we don't have any wall but when we come here it will appear so I think it should be it should begin around this point about around halfway through this keyframe so take the layer and drag it here so that when we turn around we already have the wall so it looks like the camera is inside the room inside a closed room okay but now when we get to this point to the final part we need to turn off again this layer because it's going to be on the way so around this point we can finish this layer by pressing ALT and the closing bracket so let's take a look at how this looks okay we're rotating you can see that we're always pointing at the statue and we can see the four walls so this is looking really really nice now you can close this view let's stay with the active camera view let's turn on our ceiling because we are no longer going to be needing the top view okay perfect the fireflies are looking really nice so we are all set now all we need is to add some new effects some small effects that will give them a lot of personality to this animation and of course we have to add some music to this so let's go to the next lesson.